On this week's breaking news, Zelda finally makes its Lego appearance. You can vote on getting your own space minifigure, and a convention goes completely awry with no attendance. That and much more on this week's breaking news. Today's episode is brought to you by Back to Brickware, my newest venture into the AFL merchandise, the ultimate Lego-inspired clothing line that's not just fashionable, but also celebrates the very foundation of the Lego system we all know and love. Imagine minimalist designs that seamlessly blend style and nostalgia. Back to Brickware brings you high-quality apparel inspired by the iconic Lego bricks we know and love. Each piece is crafted with precision and attention to detail, making it a must-have for any Lego enthusiast. These aren't just your average threads. We're talking about minimalist designs that don't scream at you, but just show your nerddom in a classy way. And of course, they're inspired by designs found in the LEGO system. And you know what screams quality? Embroidery. Almost every piece is stitched with love, featuring those iconic LEGO elements. It's like wearing your childhood memories, but making them fashionable. So whether you're a hardcore a fool or just want to rock some seriously cool gear, check out the Back to Brick Wear page on Etsy. Dive into the collection, embrace the LEGO spirit, and let's make some memories together. Back to Brick Wear, where the style meets nostalgia. Head over to the Back to Brick Etsy page and let the fashion adventure begin. Happy building, my friends. Lego. 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 Breaking hey, everybody. News. Welcome back Breaking to Back news. to Brick. I'm your Breaking host, news. Garrett, and this is the podcast where we talk with fellow AFOLs about their Lego designs, and we get down to the Breaking News to talk about all things Lego and the Lego community have been up to for the past week. Thank you all for tuning into the podcast. As always, make sure to subscribe to this as well as the YouTube channel because we are so close. We are just within reach of 1,000 subscribers just in time for my birthday. We're looking at 19 people to subscribe. That's all we need. I would love if you can come support that and watch some of the shorts as well as some of the content that I put out there. It's definitely been a challenge as I continue to record, but I'm very, very bad at editing and putting them out there. So I'm definitely going to try harder to get those things posted as I've been working on a couple of my own projects and a lot of commission work recently. And if you really want to support the podcast, you can go over to our Patreon page at Back to Brick to support the podcast as well as the Back to Brick and the Back to Brick Wear, where I have my different shirts that are going up on Patreon. And a lot of them are more subtle and, as I've said in the ad, so there's going to be a couple more added here with the Jedi Bob coming right around the corner. And for all those that are supporters of the Patreon, I want to shout them out. Belfon Brick Studio, Ryan Moore, Franco Portelli, Jimmy Tucker, Ryan S. David, Matthew Vander. Bogart, Paul Snellen, Lee Jackson, and the Pops Block Shop. Thank you so much for being supporters. You love to see it. And now a bit of the admin. I've been working, as I said, on commissions and doing a lot of glue ups, which gluing is such a fun task, especially as you're fusing and melting plastic together, making sure that you have it in the right position. Otherwise, you're kind of screwed. And a lot of bricks are coming in, and sorting bricks takes so much time that. Well, I lose track of time and my whole day is gone, but otherwise that's pretty much it. And I hope that you all have been building and getting creative, especially as summer is right around the corner. And a lot of these June sets are coming out. So we're going to talk about our set review as always. This one's going to be a little summer focused, set 10298, the Vespa 125. And then our rebrickable mock review will be focused on Zelda, the Adventures on the Great Sea by JK Brickwork. So stay tuned for both those after this week's breaking news. All right, well, let's get into it then. We get our first look of the Wicked Mini Dolls. I always forget that they're called Mini Dolls. I always called them Friends figures. They're, of course, not uh, not like mini figures. They've got a longer head, different body. The whole, I mean, the whole structure is different because it's focused on the Friends line instead of mini figures, which in this case, I'm just, I'm a little disappointed, but it kind of makes sense. The Wicked Mini figures, excuse me, Mini Dolls, are going to be focused around the Friends series as this is more of a female-driven movie, even though a lot of people also enjoy uh, this that are not females. And they're also not just related to the younger crowd of females. This is going all the way up to adult females who have loved the book or the play and would like to see these in minifigures. So they've really narrowed it down, but honestly, it's probably going to be very successful in that age group. The Mini dolls were released or shown in the official remake of the theater trailer in the mini dolls as well as like the scenes and everything. So I'm guessing that we've seen this designer before or we had somebody in the YouTube community rebuild this or remake it. 
and Lego commissioned them to do so. So you can see this. I'll post the link in the description since it was on YouTube. And you can give your own thoughts and if you're excited for the movie or you're excited to see what sets this will be. It's finally been revealed and long rumored the Legend of a Zelda set. This is the Great Deku Tree 2 in 1. Now, I, I'm not into the lore of it all, and this is from... You, well, the 2 in 1 we'll talk about in just a sec, but it's a 2500 piece exactly set at 18 plus. It'll be $300 and come out on September 1st, but you can already pre-order it, and I put the link in the description so you can go do that. Now, Zelda and the Deku Tree goes all the way back to the original The Legend of Zelda series, Ocarina of Time, and The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So you can do the old style tree with the uh, open face where it's got a tunnel that can drop down with the standard tree um, branches. And then the other one, a little bit newer with some other details such as an opening already at the bottom and some other really fun little features that uh, call back to some of the games. You've got um, those little leaf-like creatures. You've got some of the um, beings that you would fight throughout the game. And you get four minifigures. You're going to get Zelda uh, young and older, and then, of course, uh, Link young and older. So that's really cool to have that two-in-one set. The only thing is it's a two-in-one. You're not going to be able to build both or have both unless you buy two. I mean, that's $600 right there. And what else is new to have all that? Um, somebody will definitely go through and see which pieces you need so you can build it a second time, maybe using some of the other pieces, going to be unrebrickable. But as a newly Zelda fan, I did play a little bit of Breath of the Wild, not enough to know where the Deku tree is. I'm more into the Tears of the Kingdom right now, and the the set does look really good. I'm not sure if I'm a big enough Zelda fan to get it, but I know there are a lot out there that are just looking for the minifigures, and I would agree. The minifigures are excellent. New prints, different designs, definitely something that they can adapt into more and more sets. So I'm looking forward to this coming out on September 1st and getting to see it in person. Lego Ideas recently announced one of their next picks, which is going to be a prize machine. It's similar to what you see at the grocery store where you put a quarter in, twist the knob, and out comes a, a different type of toy. And they're looking to have some people help in deciding what toys go inside it. And they're doing a fan vote over at Lego Ideas, which I'll post the link in the description so you can vote yourself. You can choose between five different space minifigures in different colors and four different shields that are going to be added that are um, some either new or, uh, uh, I guess, adapted. So I'll go through the list here. We've got a bright bluish green space minifigure, bright yellowish green, reddish violet, warm gold, and dark azul that you can vote in the minifigures. And I'm going with the warm gold because gold is just fun and why not have that? It, it sounds definitely more aligned in the classic space line. And then the castle factory or castle factions that you can do. There's the Krakens, which is new, the Griffins, which is new, the Bulls, which is the new color, and the Crows, which is also in a new color. So those are all the things you can vote on, go ahead and, oh, I'm going to pick the Griffins. The Kraken is really cool too, so either one would be fun. But you can go and do that vote now so you can have these in the next LEGO Ideas set. There's a new trend over on TikTok where it focuses on black women and their collection of LEGO. It's called Black Women and Some Men Too Showing Off. It talks about their complete collection and showing all their love for LEGO. Evans, who's 23, has Lego flower set, cars, Lego Vincent Van Gogh, and the Starry Night set, the Pac-Man arcade, and much more. Her videos have trended at over 14,000 views. And she said, I didn't expect it to go the way that it did. She said of the trend, I didn't expect to find a sense of community because, because Lego as a hobby is a non-POC, male-dominated hobby. So when I saw other women of color posting all of it, of all different ages, it warmed my heart. That is a beautiful way to continue to build a community as LEGO is definitely trying to expand its marketplace all throughout uh, for everyone since LEGO is built for everyone. And it's talked about how uh, continuing in the development and excursion into people showing it off is really fun. The 
uh, Lego Vice President of Brand Development, um, Don Akua, said, we are thrilled to see the engagement by black women using Lego bricks as a creative outlet to celebrate the passion that they love. The black community is rich with creativity, inspiration, and positivity, and we're humbled that the community is recognizing our products to express themselves and their personal stories. I was getting its first Lego store ever, which is kind of crazy, but not I mean, not super crazy. The Midwest doesn't really get any love, not only by Lego, but most things, as you will see, airlines trying to skip that whole area very, very frequently. It's going to get at the um, West Des Moines, uh, Des Moines Jordan Creek Town Center. It's going to be 118th Lego store in the United States, and it'll be one of 16 in the Midwest. And Lego, the Jordan Center is already celebrating its 20th anniversary this year. So only fitting to have a brand new Lego store opening there as well. The Des Moines store will include unforgettable immersive experience and of course Lego sets. So if you're in the Iowa area, you can head over and enjoy the store from May 31st to May or to June 2nd. There's a uh, Lego store, a tile giveaway. There's going to be a yellow truck of all the Lego insides with a purchase of more than $75 or more on June 1st, June 2nd. You'll get the Lego store set with $120 or more, which they usually, they used to only give them out four store openings and then a tote gift with any purchase on June 3rd through 9th. So that's uh, a wonderful way to open and enjoy the community sense of the Lego store and having some gifts to go along with it. Of course, we're all really big fans of Lego. That's why we're listening to a Lego podcast. And a woman named Loretta Quincy decided that she loved Lego enough that she's going to build an entire house for her dogs. And it is a life-size dog home with quite a lot of bricks. We're talking probably 10 to 100,000 bricks. It's over six feet tall and has a plethora of color to it where it's not just one standard color, but it has that s- signature style of a doghouse, but with a little expansion on the back, having this entire big, large structure in the back, a bunch of windows in it. I, I do hate that the article says a woman obsessed with Lego. I mean, come on, so what? Like stop, stop with the almost, I don't know if it's a degrading sense, but I guess we're all obsessed with Lego or we just really enjoy it. So that's uh, a cool way to add into your collection, not only of having a Lego love, but also putting it in your home, not as display, but for use of your animals. A teenager in Denver has been arrested. Seems that he stole quite a lot of Lego sets, including 14 sets and 329 minifigures from a bricks and minifigure store and uh, worth over $20,000. It's a 17-year-old decided that this was his best way to, well, get Lego sets as well as um, minifigures instead of actually purchasing them. And I understand that some of those Lego sets are expensive. Well, most of them are, and the minifigures can be highly collectible. But, I mean, at 17, come on. Like, it kind of goes into the home life for sure, but this is unfortunately going to be a... um, Uh, Larson and charges that will go on his record for well the rest of his life so unfortunately there's also been a lot of damage caused to the storefront (sighs) we'll see what happens but I don't think he's gonna be getting any Lego anytime soon UK's largest Lego festival Brickfest happening in Birmingham was a complete disaster when people went to attend it there was almost nothing there. There were some sets and some mock builds, but no, no major builds. I mean, if you've gone to a brick fair before, you know that there's quite a bit of immersive experience as well as not only building, but sets to see. And it was half empty. People said that they, they were completely ripped off. You walked into the thing and it was just a concrete area with, with a play pit, but there was nothing else. And you even could pay for VIP tickets, which cost 40 pounds. That's crazy. And there, some people said, I can't believe we've spent $80 to be here for this. We've been to a bigger one in primary school sports halls. So uh, that Brickfest is definitely going to get Brickfest Live is definitely going to get some complaints, and uh, honestly, there are going to be a lot of refunds hopefully coming back because this is a disaster. 
to have such a f- event with the largest Lego festival in the UK being absolutely nothing is a disappointment to not only the people who are attending, but myself, because there's a lot of things that could have been fixed to have people come and display their sets, but it's just a total con. The Museum of History and Industry in South Lake Union in Seattle is hosting a new adventure of architecture, where they've got so many different things called the Towers of Tomorrow with Lego bricks from all the iconic skyscrapers, not only in North America, but Asia and Australia, totaling over 577,000 bricks weighing at 1.5 tons. It opened on May 25th and will run through September 22nd, so you can go and check this out. There's the Singapore Marina Bay Sands, the Dubai Burj Khalifa, and the Shanghai Towers, and of course, a bunch of other ones. So this exhibit is a wonderful way to see some creativity in Lego, but also enjoy and understand architecture. Seattle is known for the Space Needle, and in the United States there are quite a bit of architectural marvels, but around the world there are a lot as well. So instead of, unfortunately, if you can't travel to those areas, you can travel and see the architecture in Lego brick and encourage the design and build of architecture not only for your own kids, but just your enjoyment as well. Lego Minecraft is 15 years old, and they've decided to, of course, celebrate that with six new sets. You're going to get the Pirate Ship Voyage, which is a $15 set. There's a camel that comes with it with pirates and a couple pirate minifigures, which is cool. The Cherry Blossom Garden, $28 set, a bunch of cherry blossom trees, uh, very basic in design, of course, because it's Minecraft with a, a couple little honeybees, which is fun. The Wolf Stronghold, $35, which has the wolf head as the primary focus on the building and a couple different wolves and skeleton figures. The Windmill Farm, $55, and it has a old, old school windmill with a couple of features in the um, sheep variant. The Badlands Mine Shaft, it's $60, and you can climb down into the subsection where you can get some TNT and try to get some of your um, materials that you need, and there's a creeper, and the Ender Dragon and the End Ship, which is $80, so you've got a end, Ender Dragon, which I don't think they've made for quite some time, and the End Ship, so it's in the Ender area with a purplish hue to it. And my nephew has become obsessed with Minecraft as he's playing on the iPad, so this is a fun uh, couple sets that we might be able to get him so that he can enjoy and build with it. To celebrate the 15th anniversary, alongside those sets, they sent out to their content creators the Lego Minecraft Brick Oriate or set um, and this set was given instructions and a cube which lego bricks picks at pickaxe pair of goggles and gloves and recreate their own favorite memories it, memories in minecraft and also build the set which has a old school temple on top with some waterfalls and into the subsection of course where you can find your diamond uh, axe and sword and helmet to enjoy the Minecraft sense with a little bit more creativity to it as well. So if you're a Minecraft fan and want to go check that out, you can see them on YouTube. Maybe they'll somebody will have posted the instructions so you can go build it yourself. For LEGO Insiders, up until June 30th, you'll be able to get the free TIE Interceptor. Now, not the Ultimate Collector Series. This is a gift with purchase. It's a much smaller set if you purchase more than $40 of Star Wars sets. I mean, I just bought this at the Lego Discovery Center because I, I do not have the cash flow to get the Interceptor at this time. So you can go and spend 40 bucks, get some of the smaller sets, even one of the dioramas, and enjoy building a small-scale tie Interceptor. Lego Hill Climb Adventures has officially launched, so you can jump into the game and enjoy a classic that you ride through different car builds that you can do, jumping over hills, going through different courses, and there's even flying on it, which I I think is just really fun. Um, The CEO of of Fingersoft has said, we saw so much excitement for the LEGO Hill Climb Adventures during the testing phase, which kicked off in early 2023. Through this, we learned a lot about the play experience and have taken the learning to ensure a game is packed full of fun, creative, and of course, crazy hills to climb. Very fun. Uh, I'll have to go try this out myself enjoying the creativity of having to design and build to climb up those hills. 
Now, a lot of people have been talking about this because, well, it's designed by one of the Lego Ideas famous builders, Lego Truman, and has been, I think, almost, I think one of the highest of 10,000 votes and just got his cat set made into a Lego set, which is, yeah, it's okay. But this one I'm very excited about. It's a Lego Apple Store. Now, the only thing is they'd have to come up with the copyright for Lego Apple to work together. And it's a full store display with two, two different levels. And then in the back, it has their iconic different thing that they've built. So you've got the uh, iMac, the iPod, the Apple Watch, the Vision Pro. And it's a really cool set. I, I think it'd be a fun one to go vote for. So you can go do that in the link in the description. Lego Duplo's Peppa the Pig mobile app has launched now it's uh, to celebrate the 20th anniversary they've teamed up and created these fun little sets and uh, you can go and explore have a fun time of the adventure and um, each pack in the app is set in a different location from the fam familiar world of peppa pig launched a green treehouse boat trip peppa's birthday party and uh, these are just fun ways to engage with the peppa whole um, uh, genre now i don't really know peppa the pig i feel like it's more a european thing i think bluey deserves a, a a task next maybe not hopefully not in duplo but in other minifigure which would be fun so you can go and download this app and enjoy uh, the immersion in the duplo world and having it instead of your kids watching youtube on the ipad they can play this fun and uh, kid-friendly game Nvidia has been in the news recently for their insane stock prices going up, and people are wondering, well, uh, if I want Nvidia, how am I going to build build it? And uh, of course, people have been building PCs for quite some time. But let's do a versus Lego versus Nvidia. What's easier, building a Lego or building a PC? And I've got to tell you, both are really fun. I love building Lego, and I've built a PC before, and that was really fun too. I'm gonna say the Lego is gonna be easier to build, but the computer is, isn't is bad. It's the software and making sure you have all the parts, especially if you're doing a water reservoir and all that, that just takes a lot of, a lot of time. And they go through this whole video series that you can watch on the link in the description to see them go through the process of building, kind of talking through it and understanding, well, who enjoyed building the most? There's a Boston-based nonprofit company that has decided that they're going to pair up with blind communities to help blind kids and people learn with Lego bricks to spell and read through the Bricks for the Blind that came out, uh, I think, two years ago at this point. And they can also build other Lego sets. The text-based building instructions were also paired with other technologies and uh, tools such as magnifiers and screen readers to help those with visions in pairs impaired to build lego sets such as the n1 star um, starfighter starfighter micro fighter and other things uh, matthew schifrin founder of bricks for the blind said i was born blind when i was 13 years old a dear family friend took the time to write out text-based instructions so that they could build my first lego set i was amazed and thrilled that i could build the set for myself so this is a fun way that the blind community can continue to learn and play with Lego and having the bricks, which are super cool, and you can actually go buy them yourself now. You don't have to be uh, in the education department or a specialized area to do so, can learn um, Braille, and it's very cool. Definitely something that I think has been needed in the Lego community and is in an in an independent firm as they continue to grow. Maybe Lego will adapt that into their own education. Legoland Billand Miniland had a tragedy where a fire broke out and it actually destroyed a bit of the harbor section. Um, there's Beyond the Brick posted fire at Lego City, a large harbor section of Legoland Billand in Denmark burned overnight. A passerby spotted smoke rising from the park around 4 a.m. Officials say a motorized vehicle on a track short circuited and caught fire. The flames were quickly extinguished, but a large section of the harbor was destroyed. So the electrical equipment is probably pretty old on these things and having short doesn't surprise me, but unfortunately having a fire take out this, uh, this whole section, it just will have to take time to rebuild and um, maybe have some upgrades to the mini land itself. The latest rumors for the new ideas set Nightmare Before Christmas, likely to be released on September 1st. It looks to cost about $200 and will be about 2,200 pieces. 
likely to see it along the same lines of Hocus Pocus, and hopefully we'll get some new minifigures to go along with it. It has grown on me as a movie since I was a kid, a little scared of it, but it's just been a fun way to add on to if it's a Halloween or a Christmas movie. Either way, you should watch it before um, or after Halloween because you can enjoy both parts of it. And I'm excited to see the set and get it to display during the holidays season. Uniqlo has done some really fun t-shirts recently for kids, unfortunately, not for adults. And they're adding to their Uniqlo Lego collection of space. There's uh, some classic minifigures going through. There's a wanted poster for Lego Space Explorers, some of the classic vehicles done on the shirts, and I am super jealous. I want these t-shirts, and I really want them to be in adult sizes. Hopefully, we'll see that here in the future soon so we can all enjoy these shirts. Lego Pick a Brick is adding some new parts as well, well, which they've done for quite some time, where they're going to have baby head space figures. We're going to get some torsos from the Dune set, and that's unique since we don't really get that often since it's exclusive to those sets, although they just did that for the Orient Express and a few others. So you can head over to Pick a Brick that it was just updated, and you can get these fun sets to add to your brick count or find them over at Bricklink because that's definitely what people are going to do now, and uh, you can purchase those and add them, maybe creating your own Dune set. The Secret Life of the Lego Brick Book. Now, this was just a crowdfunded book that happened about two years ago. You could um, put money up front to have this uh, be supported and make the book a reality. It was 100 bucks if you wanted to, to get the book at the time, and you could have your name written in it. And, excuse me, it was backed... 3,660 backers in 2021, which I was one of those, and my name was found in the book, but now they're going to be selling it in um, Lego stores. You can get it at Lego stores starting September, four, September 14th in the 400-page hardcover and looking to have a price of, uh, well, far less, about 50 bucks. And it is a really cool book. I haven't finished reading it myself, but it does have some great details, interviews, and understanding of how the Lego brick came to be. So look out for those in the stores this coming September. Lego is looking to come out with a new direct-to-consumer set sometime early next year. Now, it's just a rumor. We're not sure if it's going to be a new IP or it's going back to some classics such as, uh, well, the image that came up was codenamed Clown, and it falls in line with the recent Lego launches of the Artemis uh, launch system in the numerical section. But it could be a callback to The Simpsons, that we've already had the IP before with two other sets, and we had the Brickheads. So maybe we'll get an expansion again on this, or something different. It would be funny if they did Rick and Morty, um, but I think that has far too much violence and vulgarity to it to become a Lego set. I'm looking to see if they do a new IP, but The Simpsons were very popular, so I'd expect if they do come back, we might get that as well in a collectible minifigure series and uh, to add on to um, the huge world that is The Simpsons. And also the German football star Thomas Mueller has become a Lego ambassador. Starting on the kickoff for the Euro 2024 tour on June 14th, he talked about his expansion and uh, into Lego and his community, and he's so excited to build up his, well, branding of Lego and expansion where he's showing his soccer ball, his trophy he's holding up, and he goes into saying that his, his best superpower on the pitch is every game is creativity, every game situation, no matter how surprising it is, I meet the heart and imagination. Coupled with courage and perseverance, this result in my personality trait for every situation. I'm very happy to play exactly that same spirit for the hashtag Lego team. Really fun. I love when they expand into these um, athletes who are well-known and well-respected to having Lego be a part of their brand as well. So super cool. Definitely want to see some of the other builds that he does and how the Lego campaign will grow from that. And finally, it is the 31st, which means tomorrow is the release of our June 1st set. 
going through we're going to get some a couple gifts with purchase one that's exclusive to the bear Dur set that is coming out and it will be exclusive from the first to the seventh my birthday i, I doubt i'll get the bear Dur set for that time is the fell beast and then you can also get for a purchase of a hundred dollars or more the lego water park architecture notre dame de paris is coming out at 230 dollars we're getting a couple brickheads joy sadness anxiety legolas and gimli charles carl russell and kevin and maribel madrigal the city sets the double decker bus the jungle explorer which we talked about last week and the one i'm excited for the lego delivery truck disney is the mini sleeping beauty's castle I'm very excited about that maleficent dragon form simba the large scale and small scale lion king and moana's flower pot and snow white's jewelry box friends is an extremely long list of li- um, what they're getting the castle bed and breakfast is the most iconic one which is designed super well and i They've just done a really great job with that, so hopefully it turns over into the Wicked as well. Gabby's Dollhouse, that's brand new. I think it's an offshoot of Friends uh, series with uh, three new sets coming there. Harry Potter, we're getting the buildable Buckbeak and Dr- Mandrake, but the biggest one is the Triwizard Tournament, the arrival of the Durmstrang and Bobatan Academy. And then our two icons is the Berdu set and the Retro Radio, and then Ideas is the tuxedo cat and marvel gets a keychain minecraft is getting those 15th anniversary sets and the traditional chess set which i think would be a it's going to be a fun one and it adds on to the ones they've done before i think they've already had like three others ninjago's getting a set speed champions is getting three sets the aston martin safety car the mercedes amg g-wagon uh, dual set and then star wars is getting four new sets the ambush on um, mandalore battle pack captain uh, rex y-wing microfighter for all those that were really upset now you can go get it for pretty cheap and the paz Vizla and moff gideon's battle so all of those are really cool the most exciting ones of course are going to be the Berdur set and uh, the lion king probably i love the little brickheads and the architecture set so head over to your local store i will be going and doing a vlog so you'll see that come monday after i go this saturday and enjoy it'll be fun this is the first one that'll be on a saturday instead of during a weekday so i am expecting the lines to be pretty long and that's your breaking news this week. Thank you so much for tuning into the podcast. I really appreciate everybody listening. Make sure you subscribe to the podcast as well as the YouTube channel. You can also go follow us on TikTok and back to brick two on Instagram. Now we're going to dive into our set reviews. This one is set 10298 Vespa 125 or 125 it's an 18 plus set it's going to have 1107 pieces and 650 insiders points once purchased and it'll cost a hundred dollars it does have 165 reviews at four stars as part of the icons line this set actually will be retiring this year so if you do want to get it before it retires this is the time because come november i'm likely to see this either going discounted and selling out quickly so if you would like to get it it's now's the time the link is in the description to go do that the set is beautifully done in a i think it's in light blue color a very light blue and then dark blue for the seats the spare wheel and the trunk space in the back although there is a cart uh or a crate in the back that has a little flower pot you do get a helmet with some goggles which adds into the classic style of uh, a vespa the vespa does have a little logo on it and if you pull off the side panel in the rear wheel you're going to see the full engine uh, build underneath which is a unique design i think that they adding this was a really fun way to have some creative added detail since it's not super complicated to build this and they wanted a little thing but you're going to cover it up so it's not likely to be uh anything that you're going to pull off and display very frequently it's a it's a larger set not super big but it'd be a fun display piece there are two kickstands one is the classic that kind of lifts up the front wheel of it and there's one in the back that can lift it all the way up the cart in the back has the little flowers as i said before and it's a fun little set definitely something that you could add to your collection to have on icons vehicles since they usually they did the harley motorcycles the last one they did in this and of course the cars line 100 bucks pretty nice set 
and adds a little pop of color and a vacation sense that hopefully we'll be doing some of those this summer. Now we'll be moving into our Rebrickable review. This is by JK Brickworks, who is famous for his mocks that are mechanical. And this is no short of a mechanical magical set as well. It's 732 pieces and it's Zelda riding in one of the boats across the Great Sea. Now it's the dragon style boat. This is, I believe, from one of the uh, video games, the Wind uh, Waker, which you could find, I think, on Nintendo DS. I'm not sure if it was on the full scale builds, but it does come with a crankshaft that you can move uh, the waves up and down and having the boat move. There's going to be seagulls flying and then chasing a barrel that has a little gem on it. Now, you can also attach a motor. It's just a beautifully done set. He always has some really creative builds. I was surprised that LEGO Ideas hasn't picked up some of these. This one would be a really fun one to do, and mechanical sets are just creative ways of adding a play function and displayability that I think goes a really long way. It's a $10 PDF with images. You can also go on YouTube and see it in action, and I think that's a pretty good value and you can get the new link minifigures to add to this and have a wonderful time with zelda in a classic game wind waker on the great sea all right everyone that's the end of this week's news thank you so much for tuning in again and i will catch you on the next time which is next week and make sure to come over to the youtube channel on monday as i'll post the vlog from my trip on saturday to the lego store with the lego set reveals all right, I'll leave you as I always do. Get creative, get out there, and go build something.